Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. I am Mounty Curl, and welcome to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds News. This is a new news segment that we are going to do. We're going to go ahead and pick up and do a lot of what we've seen in the division in the past with this game as well. But if you're unfamiliar with this game, it is called Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and it is a battle royal style game where you can play free for all, duel, and squad based matches to be the last person standing and you win a hefty prize at the end of not that much stuff but it's it's all about the fun of getting to the end so i am pleased to have found this game it is a very fun game and i wish that if you have a pc that you pick it up we'll be trying to do some giveaways here in the latest builds and stuff like that during streams we've been giving away stuff as well but let's go ahead and get into some tidbits and some facts about this game and a month in to early access and this game is already on Steam's top 10 most played games of all time list. Not just this month, all time. And that's a month into early release, and we're seeing peaks of 140,000 players playing at any one time. This is a PC revolutionary game right here, and it appears from my inside sources that it not only has caught the eyes of both Sony and Microsoft, but insider information has also put both of these companies in talks with the creator to port this game over to both PS4 and and Xbox consoles, but only if they can figure out how to deal with the lag rates and the frame rate drops and the massive amount of players needed to play. Right now, no console game has been shown to support 100 players, but we'll see about this one if the mechanics make it in or if they'll have to lower the player base to 64, which I believe would be too small. Now, it may be that the consoles can support this much, but we'll have to see what the lag rates are and how bad the graphical issues would have to be toned down. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your week five news. The current patch that is currently available right now introduced an immortality bug, which is breaking the game and several item drop balancing issues. The newest patch that goes live tomorrow on the public test server will have fixes that eliminate both the immortality bug and revert the item drop balance fix that was inadvertently made and put into the current build. You can test this new patch out by put downloading the PTS and the current patch should be released tomorrow or today if you're watching this today. The release for the loot spawn decrease was to facilitate a new custom game mode that will allow players to host their own matches and adjust the spawn rate of items within the game world. The latest patch, which has no live date release yet, will also fix frame rate drop issues that players have been experiencing recently. The frame rate drop has been increasingly difficult to the game and making it hard to play, so players are obviously frustrated and going to the forums and complaining about it. So that is the number one thing that they're going to be fixing. Other things, there is a bug where the door will open towards the players that is going to be fixed. Uh, incorrect lighting on the 2x scope. Loot to be loot has not been showing up in the inventory when characters are obtaining it. The crossbow attachments don't show up in the vicinity pane, which is the uh, that pane off to the left hand side when you're looking at items. Those things aren't showing up, and there is a sound stutter bug that is going to be fixed. All of those things should be fixed in this last PTS build. Go ahead and get on that PTS and test it out. Make sure that those bugs are gone and they will go ahead and release this into the wild and we will all be much better for it. The developers of Battlegrounds are taking the week off this week to go ahead and celebrate the early release success. So don't expect a week six update unless things go horribly wrong for the game and there's some game breaking bug out there that needs to be fixed immediately. In other Battleground news, on May 4th, Battlegrounds will host a charity invitational to support gamers outreach. The new Battle Royale title has continued to rise since its release in Steam Early Access last month and has finally taken overtaken H1Z1, King of the Kill, in average daily concurrent players. Using their recent success, Battlegrounds already works to support those charities. It, for the event, Battlegrounds has invited a total of 128 steamers from both North America and Europe to compete. The event is split into regions, so 64 players from each region will compete in one of three matches. Battlegrounds Charity of Choice is Gamers Outreach, which focuses on kids and teens as they undergo treatment in hospitals. By making the world of games and entertainment accessible to the disabled and sick, Gamers Outreach is able to help these children cope with feelings of isolation and provide a sense of normalcy. This is not the first charity event 
Player Unknowns has been organized. Back in the Arma 3 days, Player Unknown held two separate charity events in support of Extra Life and was able to raise over $70,000 for those in need. After the initial invites were sent out, many more players were clamoring to help out. Unfortunately, there was not enough room to include every streamer who played in the early access release. I would also ask that you understand that we could not invite everyone that streams Battlegrounds to this event and that we had to focus on those streamers with larger communities and those that have supported the game over the past 10 months. That's what that was a direct quote and this likely won't be the last player unknown charity event because they have done more in the past and they are interested in supporting you know the next charities by competing so keep an eye out for those announcements as they go through. Now finally in this bit of news out of the frying pan and into the armor that's right if you didn't know the most recent patch for battlegrounds has introduced a bulletproof frying pan that really can save your ass because of where you wear the frying pan it sits on your character it sits you know on the posterior end and the frying pan will give you some extra armor to the posterior region and it's been shown to be able to block bullets holding the frying pan in your hand can also save your life as if you swing it wildly it will go ahead and block some of the incoming bullets and may just save you no comments have been made by the members of the development team as to whether this change was intentional but it is much more fun now that it is one of the must-have weapons in the game where it was previously ignored with that that is the battleground news for week five and week six we'll be back next week as we hope to continue making these news segments a weekly occurrence and giving you much needed news that you need to stay ahead of the game for all of us here at battleground news i'm Monty carl and we'll see you on the battleground good fight and good night